Hello and welcome back to XCOM. It's time to get those satellites underway. We have a quick look in the situation room. We've got one satellite that we can make with enemy within. Satellites aren't as important. They're still important. I mean, you need the money when you put a satellite over a country. You need the money. And obviously when eight countries panic, you lose the game. So it's quite important to do satellites. But because there are so many missions to help reduce your panic, it's not as important. So we're going to make one satellite because we got those engineers in the last game. So if we head over to the engineering, we can get one of those. And it's 23 credits cheaper as well, which is always nice. We have our med kit and a satellite. That's all we can do at the moment. We're making the satellite. And oh, we get meld. Commander, oh. we're receiving a transmission from the council. Council mission first. What do we have? Bomb disposal. See, I'm actually tempted not to do this. I've done bomb disposal early on before, and it, it's very difficult. But, 151 credits. Panic reduction, not too much of a problem. You know what? Let's give it a go. Oh, we've got we're going to give it a go sometime. Alright, it's good to have an assault on bomb missions. Uh, we'll get to that eventually. But I'll just get my best squad together. Alright, here's our squad. We're good to go. I decided to drop my sniper because he's still a squaddy. So we're going to be doing a lot of moving about and I need as many shots as possible. So if I move my sniper, I'm not going to get a shot off, which is pretty important because I'm going to be constantly moving to try and put out those bombs. Alright, what map have we got? Okay, okay, I can do with this map. So, bomb disposal, we need to get, you need to, get to these things here, these flashing green things, and put them out, basically. So you just go over and you click them, it's pretty much like the meld. You have to get over to it and you have to click them, and you have so many turns to do that before the place blows up. You don't automatically lose your rookies. If the if the bomb gets charged, you have so many turns to get out before it blows up. So we're going to try and have a look around, see if we can see any more. Oh, there's one in here. That's good. I can't really see any more. So if we're going to head towards this room, you can sort of flank this room pretty well, which is nice. We want to get that door open next turn. So let's do that now. On Overwatch. Now we're probably going to see Thin Men in this mission. And on Classic, Thin Men are very annoying. They're extremely difficult to kill. They're very powerful. And if you're not in hard cover and hunkered down, then they can do a lot of damage to you. I don't know why I opened that door, I'm just going to kick it open anyway. I think we'll get everyone on the doors and then we can get in there next turn and turn the bomb off. So we need to keep moving forward. Which is why I'm not a massive fan of bomb missions. Because my tactic is very slow and methodical and I want to take my time. And you just don't have it. You just do not have that time in bomb missions. Alright, we need to open all the doors because I need to see if there's anything here before I rush in and turn that bomb off. Well, turn the thing off. There we go. And he's gonna run out. And he's on top of the roof. Okay. And we have two sectoids over there. So we have three aliens at the moment. Alright. So where can this... this thin man's up here and he's gonna jump down and... Oh, he's gonna flank us somewhere. Oh, there's a bomb out here. That would be a really nice one to get. What I might do is... Ooh, what shall I do? I really need to get someone around here. Problem is, if I go here, someone can easily come around and flank me. But only if they get there. And they'd have to see me. Mm, okay, right. If I go... Here. Alright. And then I can get to that bomb next turn. And this bomb up here as well. There's that one and that one. 
and then it looks like the bomb is in this room here. I really clear out these aliens as quickly as possible. There is really no messing around, which is why I'm going to have to put grenades out. And then I can blow a hole in there and I can see through. Nice, we can get to that bomb next turn, so that'll keep us off for a turn. Oh, and there's one here as well. That's good. We have an alien there. Right, so what is our plan? Can we throw a grenade over there and kill it? No. That is unfortunate. Because that guy is going to drop down next turn and potentially murder one of us. What I can do is run into there, but I'll have the same problem of the thin man coming down and flanking me quite easily. I could run and go to the roof and get the thin man. That is an option. But I'd have to find him first. You can sometimes find the thin... Ah, there he is. If you, if you hover around, if you can't go to a space, that is where the guy is. So I could send my guy there, shoot the thin man, take him out. As well as moving my rookie here, defusing the bomb and throwing a grenade over. And that would be really good to set me up for the being able to defuse the bomb. And that is what I'm going to do. So, disarm the bomb. That's the priority. We're going to run and gun. Nobody should be on Overwatch, which is nice. So, he's there. So, we need to go here. Alright. Just hope I don't trigger anybody else. That's the big risk. All right, this better kill him. Nice. There we go. That's the thing I'm taking care of. Oh, I'm tempted to hunker down and not waste uh, my turn trying to wa uh, wasting a grenade on this guy, basically. But what I could do now, because I know he can't come around and flank, is move this guy to here. No, actually, no, that was probably a stupid idea. I could have just put them on Overwatch, just in case anything came down this way. Because I'm just going to go here and turn this bomb off anyway, next turn. That, that was a pretty stupid idea. Alright, let's, uh, let's get rid of this guy. Next turn, we want to go around turning bombs off, so... Give ourselves plenty of time to turn the bomb off. I really like this map for the bomb mission, actually. It's very small. And the less running around the map you have to do, the better. There's the graveyard mission, which is just horrendous. Because it's so far apart between all the different bomb disposals. You just don't have enough time to do it all. Right. Let's get you... I just don't want to run through the Thin Man goo. That shouldn't run through him. Oh, okay. That wasn't good. And you've gone there. Okay. Can I... Do I... No, I'm, I'm... Okay. Right. What can I do? Can't get this person anywhere decent. I could go around here. Ooh, yes. That's nice. Move you there. We've got a bomb disposal next turn. Uh, we can do... Well, they're not bomb disposal, is it, really? All right, we need to get over this way. What I'll do, I'll hunk you down in half cover. Well, what I could do, hmm, I was going to move here, but I think this sectoid can run down and flank me. It'd be tight, hmm, but I, I'll, I'll hunker down. What shot do I have? Twenty percent. Yep, that's not nice. So we're going to hunker down. And you're going to hunker down, and you're going to overwatch. It's important at all times, I think, during the bomb disposal, to put yourself within grasp of a bomb. Always have one within one reach. And the reason I was going on about assaults earlier, assaults being very good for these, is because 
you can run and gun, and then oh, he's moved back. That's good. I can move to there now. So I've got myself in range of that one. Yeah, if you run and gun, you can then dispose the bomb next turn. Uh, sorry, on the same turn, because it doesn't end your turn, run and gun. So you can sprint to somewhere, press run and gun, sprint to the bomb, sprint to the disarm, turn it off, and there you go. That's that sorted. It's a really nice way to do it. Right, let's get this guy moving around. I'll show you next turn what I mean with the assault class. Get this guy in some decent cover, hunk you down, and stick you on Overwatch. Although we're needing to deal with this guy pretty quickly. Hoping he moves forward, he does. Go on, hit it. Damn. Oh well. I might lose that cover next turn. Looks like it. That's alright. You can do that all day long. Hmm, is that cover? See, I could move to there and potentially have a shot, but I'm sort of going all out with that decision. Where can I get... Ah, ooh, yes, run and gun. As I say, run and gun, if I run and gun here, then I can defuse that bomb this turn. I don't have to wait till next turn to defuse it, which is good. So if you're two away with a... If you're two moves away with a assault guy, it's a much better way to do it. Alright, running gun to here. Just in case there's anything round there I'm going to trigger. Shouldn't be. And that's a kill. Oh no, pistol. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> I am a lucky boy. Wow. Okay, we can take up some bombs now. Give ourselves plenty of time. Um. Okay. I don't know what's happened there. Whether that person's triggered or not. Alright. I rushed that guy to hard uh, full cover there because if anyone does come through and have a shot, they're going to shoot at this rookie who's in half cover. So I might as well get him through. And I'm just going to go on Overwatch, because I don't think we triggered that guy. It was weird. That I apparently saw. Oh well. Let's... Right, what can we do? Let's say I can get within one of the bomb, I think, there. Let's try that. And I can get... Oh no. But I haven't opened this door. That's the point. Okay, let's open this door. We have a... Do we have any grenades left? We have one left, okay. But we're going to open this door. Need to see if I can get with that bomb. Probably can. Uh, can I get there with this guy? Yes! That is a flank. I'm pretty sure that's a flank. That's the flank. Nice. If not, I'll bring this guy around and just shoot him. Right, let's take this shot. Nice! Talking of crits, I, I've been doing a playthrough recently with the second wave option that flank always gives a crit. Really good. I've been hitting... I've been killing so much more that you just wouldn't, usually. Every now and again, you don't get that crit. Right, one thing we have to prepare for now is that as soon as we trigger this bomb, we're going to trigger... S as soon as we trigger the bomb, as soon as we defuse the bomb, we're going to trigger some thin men. So we need to get some people on a higher... on some high points. Just so that when the thin men come, we are possibly on the same ground, because they're just going to drop into Overwatch. That's the problem. If I take you to defuse the bomb, then I can keep my running gun guy a lot closer. That's 
Right, so let's defuse the bomb. That's the important thing. That's that done. Well done. All right. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. So I'll stick. Strike one. Everyone else on Overwatch. Closing on your location. Eyes up. Objectives update. As you can see, people closing in on the location. That is thin men gonna be dropping in in a minute. I don't know where they're dropping in, but um, they usually do it on the roof. It's really annoying. If you're ever in uh, this council mission, they're more than likely to go on the roof. And we can do that. Take them out. Right, we have one down there. We have one there. Ha, okay. I'd like to get around there and throw a grenade with him. So we're going to try and take this guy out with the other people first. You see, if you're on the roof as well, you get the the height bonus as well, which is really nice. That is unfortunate. Wow. This better hit. Okay, good. Uh, I've just realised that the grenade is not going to kill the thin man. Yeah, I didn't think about that, did I? But if I can get here and take a shot, it's worth a try. Okay, let's take this shot. Oh, nice. Didn't have to use a grenade. This oh, no. Done. Brilliant. Oh, that went so much better than I hoped it would. Promotions all round. Oh, that was a really good mission to do. I'm glad I didn't skip that. We have three new squaddies. We have a sniper. Another heavy. Oh, gotta love heavies. Oh, and we have here is our first decision. Now you see, this is what happened with the training roulette. We have the option for suppression or flush. Now, they're pretty bad options for a assault. I'm going to be honest. Wow, what are we going to pick out of those two? That is a difficult decision. Alright, we'll go for... You know what? I'm going to decide next time. I'm going to wuss out and decide next time. Okay, and uh, run again. No, don't wuss out. Let's do it now. Alright. Uh, suppression or flush? Suppression, flush. Suppression. Flush would be nice to get them out of the cover. But suppression, it really it, it, you know, it poses a 30 penalty to aim, which is very nice. So if anybody I think is going to take a shot, then I can just suppress them. I could get my pistol out, suppress them with the pistol. Yes. Okay, right, suppression. Done. And we have medals as well. We'll, oh, we'll sort the of medals out next time. Uh, but until next time, I'll be seeing you.